The University of Iowa's Finkbein Golf Course has roots on campus that date back to 1925 when golf was no more popular than ping pong. Currently located on the western edge of the university, Finkbein is home to both men and women's golf for practice and competitive play. Finkbein has been host to professional and collegiate golf tournaments since its construction in the mid-1920s and is a coveted retreat for many Iowa City residents. When the course was initially made, it was located where current day Carver Hawkeye Arena and other university health buildings are northwest of Kinnick Stadium. The interest in the sport started when university alumni William O. Finkbein deeded the property to the university in 1923. Although there was little interest in the sport among students, President Walter Jessup teed off on the first dedication to the new Finkbein golf course in October of 1925. This drew more students and Iowa City locals to the public golf course in the years to follow, making the new golf course rather popular. As the university was expanding greatly in the 1940s, the golf course saw health buildings erected all around it. Because of this growth in the academic sector of the university, in 1953 the decision was made to move the golf course one mile and was called South Finkbein, which was finished in 1954 and opened for play. This new extensive 18-hole course is respected by the University Golf Team and Iowa City Golfing Community. As the course gained recognition, it was chosen to host major golf tournaments such as the Amina VIP Pro-Am for more than 20 years and the Ben Hogan Hawkeye Open starting in 1991. The course was also site of the Women's Big Ten Golf Championship in 1993 and again in 2003, as well as the Men's Championship in 2002. Since then, Finkbein has undergone large changes such as the Varsity Golf Complex. This is somewhat overwhelming to be uh, perfectly honest, I think it's such a great opportunity for our programs but to see everyone out here and uh, all the people that had a piece in making this possible is uh... it means a lot to us it, uh, it shows us the support and the uh, the generosity of our alums and other people who donate to the University of Iowa and it gives us the opportunity to have a top-notch facility to train in during the off-season and then uh, coming into the season like right now this is this is going to be extremely beneficial for us. The uh, James M. Hoke Family Golf Complex will not only provide our golf teams with state-of-the-art training and practice facilities but also as I just mentioned greatly enhance our recruiting abilities and we heard it from the coach it's already helping. One of the things that we want our student athletes to have such a great, uh, great experience when they're at the University of Iowa that there's no doubt that someday their, their kids are going to come here and that they can't wait to give back. And one of the things that strikes me about this facility is the number of former student athletes who have contributed already. There's several coaches in the room, former coaches, and I just think it's a big day for all of us in that history for Iowa golf, and it's just a really exciting day to feel that energy um, and belief in our programs as we take that ne next step forward. I think that's really exciting. They are so excited to be here now, um, so are we. We practiced out here yesterday for the first time, and um, all of our kids wanted to come back here tonight and said, well, there's kind of something going on. <laughs> you know, that passion and that energy. And then obviously the bays, they were all just, they opened up that door the first day. And we were kind of laughing because it's snow, it's a little muddy out there. Ted's probably not the impression that he would, that usually he has here at Finkbein. He does such a great job, but it was just a really kind of uh, wonderful moment to see their faces light up and hit those first balls. So. One of the things that really this building allows us to do, um, they'll have access to this place about, well, I think we decided 6 a.m. till about 11 at night. Um, the convenience that's, within that time frame is unbelievable. We're right on campus, we can hit balls, we can chip, we can putt. Um, yesterday we were outside putting down on our real putting green. Um, it's really nice out if it was too below, we could still hit and it would be warm in that bay. Anybody that went in there knows it would be warm in that bay. It's, uh, it's going to be unbelievable. This complex overlooks the sixth hole and includes a 3,150 square foot putting green that can be modified like a natural grass green to effectively recreate putting on real grass. The complex also has a 1,200 square foot performance studio featuring the V1 video swing analysis system, 
allowing players to digitally record, analyze, and compare their swings to professionals to learn from the best in the world. The complex has heated hitting bays that face the range to play in the winter or inclement weather. This complex has bettered the golf team's presence on campus as well as its name in the Big Ten because of the amount that it has improved the team. From its humble beginnings on campus, UI men's golf has progressed and succeeded exponentially. Just in one decade, the men's golf team went from placing 9th out of 11 teams in the 2004 Big Ten Golf Tournament to placing 2nd out of 11 teams in the 2015 Big Ten Golf Tournament. This progression is partly due to the wonderful new golf coach, Mark Hankins, but it is also due to the great golfers that the University of Iowa's program has gained the attention of. The development of Finkbein Golf Course has greatly bettered the University of Iowa's golf program because of its difficult layout, better preparing the golfers for any situation they can be put in. The improvements that have been made to the course in recent years have also catered to the team's success. In 2008, Mark Hankins was hired as the head men's golf coach for the University of Iowa's golf team, which was ranked 155th in the nation. Within two seasons of being the head coach, Hankins and the men's golf team qualified for the NCAA Finals and finished 17th in the nation. Since 2009, the Hawkeyes have produced three All-American players, one Big Ten Player of the Year, five Academic All-American players, and 17 All-Big Ten honorees. This is a massive jump from the team's beginnings when they rarely won a Big Ten tournament and only had a few individuals qualify for medals. Conclusively, though golf in Iowa City was once nothing but a joke, it has become an important intercollegiate sport that is watched and loved by many, all thanks to the wonderful Finkbein Golf Course. Its rich history portrays the amount of growth and achievements of the University of Iowa and the City of Iowa City.